First at 10 tonight, tragedy striking in South Memphis. A shooting leaves a 67-year-old man dead. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Shay Arthur. Tonight, his family now hopes investigators can track down those responsible for that violence. WREG's Alan Self is live tonight after speaking with the victim's mother. And Alan, she tells you her son has been targeted before. Shay, the victim's mother tells us this is not the first time her son, James Brown, has been assaulted. And tonight, she's hoping for answers. Yeah, he's been jumping for right out there in the driveway. Somebody pulled up out there and beat him all over the head. Around 6.30 Friday morning, Memphis police tell us officers found a man with a gunshot wound off South Parkway in Florida. He was rushed to Regional One Hospital in critical condition, but didn't survive. Today, his mother identified him as 67-year-old James Brown. A lady come back here and told me the same day it happened. And a woman come over here and say another woman got shot down there. They shot up their store down there. Magnolia Brown, the victim's mother, didn't feel comfortable showing her face on camera, but says right now she's even too scared to shop at the local stores in her area, and she avoids them at all costs. If I don't go to these little side stores where all them people hanging around go, they is deadly. They, they snatch your purse or get your car. Now, Magnolia is hoping her voice, sharing the story of her son's death, will help police crack the case and bring him justice. She says she wishes people with information would contact detectives, but doesn't think that will ever happen. They should be, but they scared. They scared their life will be taken. But I just pray that they, they do catch them. But this is nothing but gang bangers around here. They ain't working. They ain't doing nothing but talking on old people. The motive behind the shooting remains unclear. So far, no arrests have been made in this case. For your news leader at Crumb Station, I'm Alan Self, WREG News Channel 3.